Ever since I was a kid, I'd had this secret, something I never thought anyone would discover. It was my hidden world, my escape from the expectations that society had placed on me. But like all secrets, it couldn't remain hidden forever. My name is Ryan, a name I'd worn like a mask for years. I was living a dual life, one where I was Ryan during the day and someone entirely different at night. Someone named Rachel. It all started innocently enough. I was home alone and the house was filled with an unusual silence. That's when I decided to indulge myself in my secret passion. The moment I entered my room, it felt like entering another realm. The closet door beckoned to me and I couldn't resist. I had collected quite a few garments over the years, stashed away in the darkest corner of my closet. Lingerie, dresses, and wigs, they were all there, my hidden treasures. As I slipped into one of my favorite dresses, a delicate lavender creation, I could feel the familiar thrill washing over me. My reflection in the mirror was a stranger I had grown to adore. Long auburn hair cascaded down my shoulders, and my face, now expertly adorned with makeup, appeared almost ethereal. I smiled at my reflection, a bittersweet feeling washing over me. But then, just as I was in the midst of my secret world, I heard it. The front door creaked open, followed by the sound of footsteps. Panic surged through me as I realized someone was home early. My heart pounded like a drum, and my mind raced for a way to escape, to conceal my secret life. I hastily retreated back into my usual attire, hoping to transform back into Ryan before anyone found me out. But time was not on my side. My mother, Susan, appeared in the doorway of my room, her eyes widening with shock as she took in the sight of me. Ryan? She gasped, her voice quivering with disbelief. I stood there, frozen like a deer caught in the headlights, unable to utter a single word. My heart raced, and my mind raced even faster, searching for an explanation, an excuse, anything to make this situation less awkward. Susan blinked, her shock slowly morphing into confusion. What? What's going on here? My throat was dry as dust, and I struggled to find my voice. I can explain, Mom, I stammered, my face flushing with embarrassment. I watched as a kaleidoscope of emotions flickered across Susan's face. Confusion, disbelief, and finally, something I couldn't quite place. She walked into the room, her eyes never leaving mine. I don't understand, she said softly. Ryan, why are you dressed like that? I felt exposed, vulnerable, as if the walls of secrecy I had built around myself had crumbled to dust. How could I explain my hidden world to my mother? How could I make her understand this part of me I had always kept hidden? As the minutes passed, neither of us spoke. The room was filled with tension, and I could feel my mother's gaze drilling into me, searching for answers. I knew I had to say something, to offer some semblance of an explanation. Taking a deep breath, I finally whispered, It's something I've always done, Mom. I don't know why, but it's... it's a part of me. Susan's eyes softened and she took a step closer to me. Ryan, you can tell me anything. You don't have to keep secrets from me. But this was a secret I had held on to tightly for years, one that felt like an impenetrable barrier between us. How could I just open up about it? How could I make her understand the complex web of emotions that drove me to cross-dress in secret? As I stood there, struggling to find the right words, my mother did something unexpected. She reached out and gently touched my shoulder, her expression a mix of concern and curiosity. Let's talk, she said softly, leading me to the bed. Tell me more about this part of you, Ryan. I was taken aback by her response, her willingness to listen rather than judge. But as I began to share my story with her, explaining the inexplicable desire to transform into Rachel, I realized that maybe, just maybe, this discovery could lead to something unexpected. The tension that had filled the room slowly dissipated, replaced by a sense of understanding and connection I had never expected to find with my mother. In that moment, I realized that my secret world might not have to be a secret anymore. Susan listened intently, her eyes filled with empathy and understanding. She didn't judge or scold me, 
Instead, she just listened. When I had finished explaining the inexplicable urge to become Rachel, she spoke softly. Ryan, she said, I want you to know that you can be yourself with me. I love you no matter what. Tears welled up in my eyes as I felt a rush of emotion. I had feared this conversation would lead to rejection, but here was my mother, accepting me for who I was. But then Susan did something that caught me completely off guard. She looked at me with a determined gleam in her eyes and said, I have an idea, Ryan. What is it, Mom? I asked. My curiosity peaked. I've always wanted a daughter, she confessed. And now, knowing this part of you, I think I see a way to make that happen. I blinked in surprise. What do you mean? Susan leaned in closer, her voice barely more than a whisper. What if we embraced this part of you, Ryan? What if we transformed you into the perfect daughter I've always dreamed of having? I was stunned. The idea seemed surreal, like something out of a dream. But Mom, I'm still me. I'm still your son. She smiled warmly. Of course you are. But imagine just for a moment the possibility of becoming someone new, someone who could fulfill both of our dreams. My mind raced with a whirlwind of emotions. The thought of becoming Rachel, not just in secret, but with my mother's support and encouragement, was both exhilarating and terrifying. It was a chance to finally be myself, but it was also a leap into the unknown. I don't know, Mom, I said hesitantly. It's a big step. Susan reached out and took my hand, her touch reassuring. We'll do it together, step by step, and we can start by giving you a new name, a name that represents the person you've always wanted to be. I blinked back tears as I considered her proposal. A new name, a new identity. It was a lot to take in. But as I looked into my mother's eyes, I saw nothing but love and acceptance. Perhaps this was the opportunity I had been waiting for, a chance to truly embrace the part of me that had remained hidden for so long. With a deep breath, I nodded. Okay, Mom, let's do it. Susan's face lit up with joy, and she enveloped me in a warm hug. You won't regret it, Ryan. I promise. And just like that... The wheels were set in motion for a transformation I could never have imagined. In the days that followed, my mother's enthusiasm for my transformation into Rachel was both inspiring and bewildering. She approached this endeavor with the determination of a seasoned project manager, leaving no stone unturned. Our first step was to find a suitable name for my new identity. Susan wanted something that reflected both femininity and strength, and after much deliberation, we settled on Rachel. It had a certain elegance to it, a name that felt both classic and timeless. With my new name in place, we embarked on a shopping spree like no other. Susan insisted on buying an entire wardrobe for Rachel, from dresses to lingerie to shoes with heels that seemed impossibly high. The shopping bags piled up, a tangible testament to the new direction our lives were taking. But it wasn't just about the clothes. Susan also guided me through the intricacies of makeup application, from choosing the right foundation to perfecting the art of eyeliner. The mirror became my canvas, and with her patient guidance, I began to see Rachel emerge from the reflection. Basic grooming and skincare routines became part of my daily ritual. I learned the importance of self-care and pampering, something I had never truly appreciated as Ryan. As Rachel... I understood the complexities of presenting as a woman, and I embraced every challenge with determination. Perhaps the most surprising thing of all was the ease with which I adapted to walking in heels. It was as if I had been born to strut in stilettos, a talent that both amazed and puzzled me. Susan, with her stylish grace, became my mentor in everything feminine, and I was an eager student. As the days turned into weeks, the transformation was well underway and I couldn't help but feel a growing sense of excitement. I was becoming Rachel, not just in secret, but in the open, with my mother's unwavering support. The world was about to meet a new version of me, a version I had always longed to be. Little did I know that this transformation was just the beginning of an incredible journey, one that would take me places I had never imagined and challenge me in ways I could never have anticipated. The thought of being the perfect daughter for my mother and embracing the life of Rachel was both exhilarating and daunting. But with Susan by my side, 
there was nothing I couldn't face. One evening, as we sat together in my newly redecorated bedroom, Susan turned to me with a mischievous glint in her eye. You know, Rachel, she began, if you're going to be a woman, you should learn how to be the perfect wife, too. I raised an eyebrow, intrigued by her statement. What do you mean, Mom? Susan chuckled. Well, my dear, it's not just about looking the part. A perfect wife knows how to take care of her home, her family, and, of course, her husband. I blushed at the mention of a husband. It was a vision I hadn't yet considered. The idea of marrying a man someday as Rachel. But Susan's words resonated with me, and I nodded in agreement. Okay, Mom, I said with determination. I'm ready to learn. And so my training in the art of homemaking began. Susan started with the basics, teaching me how to cook simple meals. As Rachel, I discovered a newfound passion for the culinary arts. I learned to chop, saute, and bake, and soon I was preparing delicious dishes that left both of us impressed. But it wasn't just about cooking. Susan also instructed me in the fine art of housekeeping. I became skilled in cleaning, organizing, and maintaining a home. The once foreign world of domestic chores began to feel like second nature to me. As the days turned into weeks, my culinary skills improved, and my ability to manage a household became adept. Susan's vision of me as the perfect daughter, ready to take on the responsibilities of a wife, grew stronger. She spoke of a future where I would marry a wonderful man who would cherish and adore me. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, Subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.